Okay, so here's the tutorial for etude number three. Honestly, there's not a whole lot to this etude. I mean, it's just a bunch of notes. I mean, and articulation. So, I mean, I could sit here and tell you, make sure you play all the notes and make sure that you play all the articulations, but I mean, that goes without saying. I said in my other video that um, you should probably consider purchasing the um, Fairling book that is edited by Marcel Mule, um, and that's going to ring true here, because look at your dynamics here in this etude. You got a forte at the very beginning, and then crescendoing into a fortissimo measure two, and then that's it for the whole stinking etude. And if you just sit here and just play your, um, your face off from from there to the end, that doesn't really make it very interesting, does it? So, um, in addition to some some other little tips and tricks um, that I'll show you here, I'll give you some some suggestions as what we have in the Marcel Mule book here on dynamics. Okay, just as a kind of a general um, tips on on this A two. Make sure that your articulation is not lazy. I mean, there's a, there's a, a lot of tonguing in here, um, and the articulation patterns kind of shift at some times, so you just have to be really on your toes. But when you're tonguing, um, we have these staccatos in here, I would almost kind of go an extra step to almost like an accent or like um, kind of a little bit more of a heavier articulation. Um, so I'll take for instance in um, air measure one. There's a difference between you hear that? I mean, I tongued all the notes that should have been tongued, but I think it needs just a little bit more, more of a heavier tongue to kind of bring bring out the articulation. Did you hear that? So just a little bit more. More of a heavy tongue, I would say. More of a T syllable than a D. Okay? So, that being said, and that will go for the entire H when you have that kind of articulation. Now, there are, look, let me see here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight measures in here. Or you have this articulation that slur two, slur two. So measure two is one of them. Okay. In those measures, and with that articulation, you have to play all of those notes as evenly as possible. And whereas the articulation I just said needs to be with a T syllable and the measures um, with the you know, with, the, with, that, with that type of articulation like in measure one. With a da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, with more of a T. With the, the measures I was talking about with the slur two slurfes, those have to be very, very lightly tongued with a D syllable. Okay? So, and the reason that has to be like that, because if you try to tongue them really, really with a hard tongue, they'll start getting swingy on you. And that, that just doesn't sound good. It's not the right rhythm. So, very nice, very connected, with kind of more of a legato tongue. And it makes for a pretty cool contrast when you're playing, um, when you play that inter intertwined with those other measures. have to make sure that those measures are picture perfectly even every single note and what I would do is I would just isolate those measures uh, those are measures two four and measure six so it's like almost like a you know one measure on one measure off type deal there um Okay, let's get to some articulate, or sorry, some dynamic. Okay, measure, uh, Marcel Mule in the first two measures has um, starting a forte, then going up to fortissimo in, in, on the top of, in the beginning of measure two, and then coming down to piano, starting a measure, excuse me, measure three. 
So right there, kind of right, really soft. And then you have, so it's softer for a measure, and then starting measure four, you have a big old crescendo going into measure five. And then right here, you get another forte, maybe even a fortissimo, and then I will play it loud till the end of measure eight. All the way, all the way. Okay, all the way through measure eight, nice and loud. Then, starting in measure nine, Marcel Mule suggests that we do um, a start this nice and soft, as kind of like in the to kind of like in the eighteen one. Same thing here. Okay, so I would do that. And then measures 11 and 12 should probably crescendo. Okay, right here. And then measure 13, these are two arpeggios. They're called diminished. They're stacks of minor thirds. Coming down there, the F sharp before the F natural, I'll probably use a fork, a fork F sharp. And then right here, um, all the way loud to the E flat on the downbeat of measure 14, and then soft. Big crescendo into the silence, okay? This is a, a fermata measure, at least four counts of rest. I hear a lot of people go... And it's, there's no, there's, that's not a whole measure of rest. At least four measure, I'm sorry, four beats of rest. Um, maybe even five, six beats. One, two, three, four, five. And then right here, start a nice good, um, you'll suggest a mezzo forte here. Right here, on this measure, measure 18, you can leave your pinky down for that. I, I leave my pinky down for that for the first half of the measure. You can play those, those S, the D's with the pinky. Okay. And be very nice and deliberate with your, with your fingers right here. No blips going up to the high F. That's kind of hard to do. Make sure measure 20 still stays the dia 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 very 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 um, light tongue. That's hard to do at a, at a. It's easy to play that with a t with a harder tongue. The louder you get, does that make sense? Two full counts on the last measure. I'm sorry, last note all the way to count three. Okay. Like I said, there's not a whole lot to this um, this etude. Make sure the the um, all the notes and the articulations are there. That's given, like I said. Um, but with the tonguing, a little bit more of a heavier tongue will do you good in this etude because it will bring out your articulation. It's kind of showing to the judges, hey, I'm doing all this articulation right. You don't want them to be like, well, is he articulating? Because you're not articulating, you know, with a firm enough tongue, okay? So, um, this is kind of like, um, I wouldn't say this is the easiest of the three A2s, but um, in terms of substance, I would say um, there's more in the other two A2s. But this one, you just kind of, you know, move your fingers and, and, uh, and your tongue. Not a whole lot of music in here. Um, but like I said, make some music with these articulations that I suggest, I'm sorry, with the dynamics that I suggested. If you have any other questions about that, please let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.